to manage any kind of diabetes it is very important to rely on the four pillars of diabetes management regular exercise eating healthy food adhering to one's treatment and regular monitoring of the glycemic levels but did you know in india almost 76.6% of type 2 diabetic patients have uncontrolled glycemic levels and most of them don't even test their blood glucose level regularly My name is Sanjay and today I will tell you the most possible reasons why the patients do not check their blood glucose levels regularly. So stay tuned and watch the video to the end. Well, the current glucose monitoring methods of diabetic people around the world are invasive, painful, time consuming and constant burden for their household budget and thus these reason prevents most of the diabetic patients to monitor their blood glucose level regularly but the good news is that the scientists have already found out some solutions to overcome these limitations in the form of non invasive blood glucose monitoring system using a technology which is known as nir or sometimes also called as nirs where you need not prick your skin to measure the glucose levels sounds interesting okay but what is this nir technology all about how does it work what is the principle the basis of which this works what is the accuracy of this particular instruments well NIR stands for near infrared spectroscopy which is based on the absorption and scattering of wavelengths in the range of 780 to 2500 nanometer here the light interacts with the sample and the detector measures the transmittance and the absorbance okay now this technology uses three basic measurement modes one is the transmittance the reflectance which includes the diffuse reflectance and obviously the interactance however all the three uh, you know works on the same core technology uh, that is the dispersive spectrometry right sounds a little confusing okay never mind let me explain it to you in some simple way as how it works the designed Uh, instrument consists of an LED emitting signals around uh, 940 nanometer wavelength and these optical signals are sent through the fingertips and reflected signals are detected by a phototransistor placed just beside the LED now the glucose concentration in the blood is determined by analyzing the variation in the intensity of received signals obtained after reflection clear Now uh, when the light ray interacts with the human body tissues it is attenuated by scattering as well as by absorption by the tissue Now uh, due to some mismatches uh, between the refraction index of the intracellular fluid and the cell membrane the light scattering occurs uh, in the tissues that's that's very common Now the refraction index of the extracellular fluid varies with the glucose concentration whereas the cellular membrane index is assumed to remain relatively constant Now here Beer Lambert law plays a very very you know vital role uh, in the absorption measurement which states that the concentration of any solution is directly proportional to its absorption of light So the premise is that a beam of light becomes weaker at as it passes through uh, you know through the solution now the attenuation of light occurs either as a result of the distance through which uh, the solution or the increasing concentration the light has traveled okay thus a less glucose leads to more scattering more path length hence less absorption whereas more glucose tissues will result in less scattering less optical path 
and therefore uh, the absorptions by the tissues i mean there will be more absorptions now due to more absorptions in the high glucose tissues the reflected light is having a less intensity compared to the tissue with less glucose con content that's that's how it works now uh, the question is how accurate it is the degree of accuracy of this particular system well with the help of uh, you know the developed system the glucose concentration is measured non invasively and as a correlation is found between the concentration value obtained by uh, you know the design system and the value by a normal conventional glucometers and the result is mapped on a chart which shows the glucose concentration measured by the uh, the designed system that is uh, the uh, you know non invasive spectroscopy and the glucometers are the same all right now for some person the glucose concentration measured by the glucometers uh, will be there will be a very negligible variance and definitely it will be within the acceptable limits okay so um, i hope i was able to explain you in very briefly uh, like how this uh, the new system like uh, non invasive uh, you know glucometers work so i'm sure now you might have got a fair idea about this newer system of uh, you know detecting the blood glucose levels how it works what is the principle on which it works and obviously uh, the accuracy level of these particular instruments well if you like the content of this video please press the like button and of course uh, if you want to know something more related to any kind of technologies pharmaceutical technologies of course uh, i would request you to please mention it in the comment section so that i can i can just make it out of video for you All right and yes if you have not subscribed to my channel yet would request you to subscribe to my channel pharmatech solutions this is where you will get uh, you know some informations about some newer technologies and uh, facts about some pharmaceutical uh, related uh, you know things all right so promising you to meet you over the next video very soon so till then take care stay safe stay healthy Bye-bye.